Okay, so here again are the locations of the different nodes. Again, there's that weird right-left thing. All right, so here again, nodes in my armpit, there are nodes in my throat, there are nodes come around my abdominal organs, a lot of nodes in my groin, not too many anywhere else, because this is what I'm trying to protect my heart, which is right there. So this picture is a giant breast, which works okay for me. All right, so here we're gonna do a little application. Why do you have lymph stuff in your breasts? Saliva. Is there fluid in your breasts? Yeah. Yes, yeah. they are squishy, right? So that means there's fluid, right? So you're going to have to drain that fluid. So where you, where's the closest place to drain it? That's in your armpit. So the fluid from your breast tissue goes into your armpit, gets filtered by the axillary lymph nodes, and then ends up in your heart, which is right here. You okay with that idea? Mm -hmm. So during your yearly exam, if the doctor's feeling your armpits as a woman, and something's big there, what does that tell the doctor? There's an infection in somewhere. Or what else could it be? Cancer. Cancer. Why would cancer make your lymph nodes get big? How do cancer spread? Anyone know? Blood. They get into the blood. Well, how does it get into the blood from your breast tissue? Through the lymph system. I'm going to show you now an animation of that problem. That your lymph system is a highway for cancers to use as well. Yeah, darn it! <laughs> the body is mostly composed of fluids. All its cells contain and are surrounded by fluids. In addition, four to five liters of blood circulate through the cardiovascular system at any given time. Some of that blood escapes from the system as it passes through tiny blood vessels called capillaries in the body tissues. Fortunately, there is a secondary circulatory system that reabsorbs escaped fluid and returns it to the veins. That system is the lymphatic system. Again, that's why people put it runs parallel to the veins and empties into them. Lymph forms at the microscopic level. Small arteries or arterioles lead to capillaries, which in turn lead to small veins or venules. Lymph capillaries lie close to the blood capillaries, but they are not actually connected. The arterioles deliver blood to the capillaries from the heart, and the venules take blood away from the capillaries. As blood flows through the capillaries, it is under pressure. This is called hydrostatic pressure. This pressure forces some of the fluid in the blood out of the capillary into surrounding tissue. Oxygen from the red blood cells and nutrients in the fluid then diffuse into the tissue. Carbon dioxide and cellular waste products in the tissue diffuse back into the bloodstream. The capillaries reabsorb most of the fluid. The lymph capillaries absorb what fluid is left. Edema, or swelling, occurs when fluid in or between the cells leaks into the body tissues. Okay, so at the nursing home where you work, why, are, why would cause a patient to swell up? There's two ways you can end up that way. They don't move. Right, so one thing is not moving, so not draining fast enough. The other thing could be I'm getting more fluid out of my blood then I can drain. So there's too much fluid going into my tissue or not enough draining out. Remember that thing we did with the, um, the pulmonary edema, right? You can have too much fluid leaking out or not enough draining in, right? But edema is a problem and the extracellular fluid is building up some swelling. Very good. It is caused by events that increase the flow of fluid out of the bloodstream or prevent its return. Persistent edema may be a sign of serious health problems and should be checked by a healthcare professional. The lymphatic system can play a very worrisome role in the spread of breast cancer. Lymph nodes filter the lymph as it passes through the system. They are located at specific points throughout the body, such as in the armpits and high in the throat. Lymphatic circulation in breast tissue helps regulate the local fluid balance 
as well as filter out harmful substances. But the breast's lymphatic system can also spread diseases such as cancer through the body. Lymphatic vessels provide a highway along which invasive cancerous cells move to other parts of the body. The process is called metastasis. It can lead to the formation of a secondary cancer mass in another part of the body. This mammogram shows a tumor and the lymph vessel network it has invaded. No woman is too young to know that regular breast cell examinations can help to catch tumors earlier in their growth, hopefully before they spread or metastasize. Let's go back to my, my booby picture here. So, if you have some lumping, what will the doctor do with those nodes? What will they do? They'll biopsy them. That's a nodectomy, right? So the higher up your armpit they find the cancer, the further it's beginning to spread, right? The worse your symptoms are, could be because you're getting closer to your heart. That's why they're supposed to check those. They're trying to see how far the cancer is progressing out of the drain line towards your heart. So once it gets to the heart, it's everywhere, right? That's metastasis. Make sense? So any fluid can drain, and cancers can get in the fluid and drain as well. So if you have skin cancer, the melanoma breaks through the skin, goes into the lymph system under your skin, and then spreads everywhere and kills you. That's how it gets around. Most cancers use the lymph as a way to get around. Make sense? So check your nodes. If they're big for no reason, there's a reason. Right? So Something why do cancer cells are infected with lymphoma? Then? Lymphoma is actually the lymph node itself is growing, cancerous. Oh. So it's actually the cells, the capsule, and the cortex are actually dividing incorrectly. So cancers can move in the lymph fluid, or the lymph nodes themselves can grow as a cancer. So that's the difference between lymphoma and something else. Make sense? Question on lymph. Your brain's a goo. Good. Go home. Oh. Oh.